this is how to create tooltips in World Anvil. So tooltips can be incredibly useful for giving a little bit more information to your readers when they mouse over something. On World Anvil, you can create them in three ways, simply by activating the article link pop-ups like this one, that's a big long article, and that's an example of a short one. You can do them with a BB code tooltip, which is great for one-offs, that's like this, or if you want a variable that you're going to use a lot, like a pronunciation tooltip, for example, you can do it like this. This is a simple variable. I'm going to walk you through how to do all three of those right now. We're going to start with the article link pop up. That's this one because it's super simple to do and it applies all over your world wherever people have access. We're going to start by going to our world configuration. That's here going to go to display and then you're going to select display article tooltips that's right here and click save changes that'll do it that will get your articles popping up in these little windows when you mouse over them simple the second way to do this is with a very simple piece of BB code called a tooltip and here's how to set that up so here is my tooltip and you can see tooltip players beware so that's square bracket tooltip colon and then i write the little text that i want to appear when i mouse over my designated text in the middle i write my designated text itself super fun in this case and then of course we're going to close our bb code with square bracket forward slash tooltip and then close square bracket so this is the little pop-up bit this is the anchor text and then we close our tooltip just to designate where the end of that anchor text is. And one more time, that looks like this. Easy peasy. The final way to do this is with simple variables. And this is a little bit more involved to set up, but you can use it as a repeated unit anywhere on World Anvil without any BB code. It just You can just embed it super simply within your text. And here's how to do that. First of all, we are going to go to our variables. So advanced tools, variables. When you start, if you have no variables, you'll need to start by creating a collection. Add a descriptive name. You can see I called mine pronunciations collection and add a description if you want so you can remember what it is at a glance. Here is how it will look once you've clicked create collection. Let's click into my collection to have a look. So the key is a unique identifier for your variable. Each of your variables needs a unique key. There cannot be two that are alike. The title, on the other hand, can be duplicated. This is the anchor text of your tooltip. It's what you're going to mouse over for the little pop-up to pop up. And that pop-up you write in value. In this case, my key is pronunciation regal, my title is regal, and my value is pronounced regal, because you'd never guess that from this word otherwise. It's an important variable to add if that's an important name in my world. I'm going to click add variable, and you see that and my previous variable will appear here in the collection. I can also search in my collections too. There's two ways to add this. Of course, it you can copy here the value and just paste it into your article, just paste it like that, or square back brackets, and the first three letters, and it will suggest the variable from the dropdown. That's a super easy way, by the way, to embed maps and stat blocks and variables, all sorts of things, square bracket, the first three letters, and it will appear. And here is how it looks in a view mode. Here we go. There is our cute little tooltip, and we can put that wherever we like, just square brackets and three letters. If it's something you're using a lot, it's a really cunning way to do that. Variables do a huge amount of work, or at least they can. So if you're interested, do check out the full resource I have in the description of this video. It is going to help you if, you're, if you have a lot of repeating blocks, a lot of repeating information, a lot of pronunciations that you need to clarify um, just to speed up that world building process. It means that you don't need to keep writing out the same stuff over and over again. Guys, that's how to make tooltips on World Anvil. You know what to do. Grab your hammer. Go wild build.